Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for taking your time to watch my YouTube channel today. This is Abraham Uluwato Sin Adeyemi. In my video today, I want to talk about the dangerous teachings of Joshua Seman. I, I know that Joshua Seman is a charismatic guy and Pentecostal with all this word of faith, prosperity and many other things that you know, charismatic you know, preachers teach. So, I just want to point out some of the things that I have heard from Joshua Seaman that, that are not biblical. And number one is when Joshua Seaman said that the Bible is not the Word of God. And he tries to give an explanation for the reason why he said the Bible is not the Word of God. But the explanation that he tries to give, they are not valid, they are not genuine, and they are not biblical. Because if you can make some part of the Bible less authoritative, then it is safe to conclude that you know every part or all the word of God is not authoritative. And the Bible says, only men of God speak as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. God is the author of the Bible, and they were just human instrument that God used to paint them his very word for us to have today. And also that is why the Bible says, you know, all scripture is given by inspiration of God. So God divinely preserved the word of God is not only inspired but it is also preserved and that is why the Bible is inherent invaluable word of God. So that is the first thing. Now if you deny the word of God, if you deny the Bible as being the very word of God or you know you, you just say it contains the word of God but it is not the very word of God, uh, there is a problem. Now the Bible teaches that, you know, whatsoever things were written at four time were written for our learning. So, every I and dot of the Bible is very important. So, that is that. That is the first one. The second one that I want to point out is, salvation is not forever. Joshua Seaman, let me deny eternal security of believer, and he believes that you can lose salvation. Now, one of the reasons why people confused as salvation losing is, born out of ignorance okay now when you understand the bible the bible is very explicit on this teaching on salvation the bible says salvation is a gift because salvation is a gift it is free and because salvation it is free it is forever now if you can lose salvation you know christ had to come and die over and over and over again and that is why everyone listening you have to be very careful because your eternity is at stake if you don't believe that salvation is forever if you don't believe that you have eternal life because you might put yourself as the one walking your way to heaven or as the one trying to get yourself to heaven so you have to be very careful and look to the bible as your final authority so that is another dangerous doctrine this is very dangerous because your eternity is at stake if you don't believe the true gospel of Jesus Christ. So that is the second one. And the third one is this, two ways to get to heaven. Now, Joshua Seaman acknowledges that in order for a person to be saved, you have to believe Christ as your savior. And he explained what that meant. He said, you know, you have to believe in the substitutionary payment of Jesus Christ as sufficient for you. I agree with that. But there, here is the second one. He said, you have to make him your Lord. And let me say this, those two things are not separated you know they, you can't separate them all right now when the bible tells us in the book of romans chapter 10 verse 9 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and believe in thine heart that god has raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved now you don't make him lord separately and you don't make him savior separately the moment jesus died on the cross he was buried and he rose again he becomes the Lord, he becomes the Savior and the Lord. Anyone who puts his faith in Jesus Christ, he becomes his Lord and his Savior. Now, that does not mean that we always yield allegiance to his Lordship all the time. Sometimes, as a believer, we disobey him. That does not mean that we don't make him the Lord because we disobey him. And in the book of Acts chapter 16, verse 30 and 31, when Philippians Angela asked Paul and Silas, he said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? He said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. So, the moment you accept him as your Savior, the same day he becomes your Lord. But we don't always give him the total control. Sometimes we reserve some part. And listen, he wants to have all of you. And that, that is what the Bible teaches. So 
when you believe in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ becomes the Lord and your Savior, all right? And that does not mean that we always follow his rules and regulations all the time. Sometimes we disobey. And when we disobey, God chastening us as we, as a child, not as bastards, all right? That is the third one. And the last one, which is very critical and is very important. So, he said that, he said Christ is not fully man. He denied the uh, humanity of Christ and he said it's, it's not fully man, it's fully God but it's not fully man. And let me say this, and that is very dangerous because Christ is fully man here on earth and is fully God. He felt the pain, he was hunger, okay, and he has to be fully man before he can die on the cross. Now, man sin, the first man, Adam sin, alright, and the second man, Adam, okay, the second Adam, which is Christ, also, you know, the Bible tells us that, you know, he must be without sin in order for him to atone for our sin. So, these are the things that, you know, I wanted to understand about, about Joshua Seaman. And let me say this, any preacher, you have to be very careful, when preachers are speaking more than they quote the Bible, it is very dangerous because they can always try to speak things that are extra biblical all right whenever you see a preacher quote me speaking more than he quotes or he make references to the word of god you have to be very careful and there are so many garbages or many things that he said that are not really I mean, deal breaker but these are the deal breakers okay for humanity of christ you should read the book of romans chapter 8 for you to be able to understand further all right thank you so much for watching my youtube channel and i'm going to see you next time god bless you